Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to be unboxing my rainbow crate for the month of August. So it's about to be October now because so September is almost over and I received this yesterday. So this is very, very late, but I'm just happy that it's finally here. I love rainbow crate because I love pretty edition of queer books. Um, so yeah. So in this box we get two books, we get a traditionally published book and we get an indie book. The indie book is always fully customized and then the traditionally published book is just a dust jacket um, cover redesign which I love. Um, and then we get two items, one item changes every single month and the other item is a collectible magnet. Um, so let's start with the first random item here. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and open it. Oh my god. Oh, okay, I'm really happy because it is a book pot and I love these book pots. I think Aluminum Crate is just the best book pot, um, but I just love these book pots. Uh, oh, but this one is really, really stunning right here. I just love these book pots. I think they're absolutely so stunning. I just love putting bookmarks in here. I have so many bookmarks, so yeah, but this one says Hunting the Huntress, a guide. Um, and on the back it says, you can't have a rose without thorns. It wouldn't be a rose. Um, and burnt thorn. So, I'm very happy with these. These are so, so, so pretty. Um, I love it. So, I'm very happy with this already. And then the next item is our Marley Magnet here. I have no idea who these two characters are. So, we'll find out in a minute. But it's so, so pretty. Oh, this one, is, it has like glitter on the background, which I love. Actually, I think this is inspired by a Peter Pan retelling because I'm pretty sure that's Peter Pan and Hook, a queer. I think I know what book it is, uh, like Peter Darling, I think it was called. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is inspired by a um, Peter, whatever. <laughs> um, actually, we could find out here. So the Molly Collectible Magnet is, features Peter and James from Peter Darling, yeah. Um, but as a chant, so I've been wanting to read that book for a while now, so hopefully I get around to reading that pretty soon. Um, but yeah, also the theme for this month was But Make It Gay. Love it. Um, and then the Thorn book pot is inspired by Thorn by Anne Burke, which I have, no, I have no idea what that book is. So I'll probably check that out later. And we have an art print here which is so, so pretty, and it's inspired by the traditionally published book in this month's box. And then the back, it has all the spoilers. And of course, we also get our newsletter here every single month, uh, which just contains a whole bunch of Rainbow Crate news, some charity spotlight, um, non-fiction pick of the month, um, challenges, photo video challenge, next month theme, which is... Um, narrow sparkly so that's really, really cool some queer books that are excited about that's coming out and then here are the two books that it's um the items are inspired by um i've never seen thorn in my life before but peter darling i'm very excited to read that eventually so i love the newsletter things i think they're really, really cute so yeah and then we have the two books and i'm very excited for the traditional published book right here and then we have the indie book down here so here are the two books and i was really really excited for the traditionally published book um so this is a romeo and juliet retelling i'm pretty sure and that is um teach the torches burn um to burn by caleb um richer richer i have no idea but here is the cover redesign and I think it's beautiful and I love the gold foiling on it. I think it's really, really cute. I love this art style. I don't know who the artist is, but they did such a great job and I really love it. It's really, really cute. We have the spine there and then on the back here, we have an author's note from the letter, uh, from the author there, uh, which I like, um, really, really nice. And then of course on the inside flap, we have um, nutrition facts. The pages amount, the reputation in the book, the Killian 100%, gay 100%, asexual 75%, which I did not know this book um, contained that. Um, aromantic uh, representation is 50%, so that's really, really cool. Genre, retelling, plot, um, 
Starcross lovers, friends to lovers, meet cute, stolen kisses, demographic, um, young adult, this book is point of view is first person. So I love this thing that they include in here. And this one also came with a sign book plate that I put inside the book already. So yeah, this is such a such a cute redesign and also comes with the original dust jacket underneath if you prefer that i love both of these um I, but yeah i'm gonna keep this one on because i love it i think it's really, really cute i'm very excited to read this book so yeah i'm very happy with the traditionally published book um but now we have the indie book here which is has the like, edges and everything completely redesigned um, this month the this month's book is um, on widely creatures by Ida Tasley. I have no idea to be honest. I could be wrong with the title and the author's name, but here's the redesign cover. Um, I'm not a fan of this or the original cover. I think they're both a little of a letdown to be honest. Um, but here's the back. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not really. The biggest fan of this redesign cover um it's fine it looks cute kind of but i'm just not the biggest fan of it um so let's go ahead and show you guys the edges so we have bright green edges there so that's really interesting the green which i did not expect but it has like dna um spirals going down which it looks pretty cool it's just very it's just a short book um i just wish um, Remo Crate chose like full length novels and not really like the shortest books ever because this is under 300 pages, but it's fine. Um, again, I love that they include these nutrition facts. So, this is literally only 267 pages. Uh, representation we have sapphic 100%, biracial 100%, Asian 100%, disability 75%, neurodiversity 50%. The genre is contemporary horror, so that sounds really interesting, so uh, it makes me want to read this one. Uh, plot, we have creating your own family, 100%, uh, running away, experimental science, belonging, and then demographic, this is an adult book. Um, and then uh, first person and multiple for point of view, so I do just enjoy that. Okay, so the end papers and the naked hardback of this book, just, I love it. So I might just get rid of the dust jacket or display without the dust jacket because look at this. The naked hardback. So, so stunning. We have Frankenstein there. I love the naked hardback. So, so, so pretty. I love the spine of this naked hardback. The spine is beautiful. And then we have the back as well. The Naked Hardback is absolutely stunning. It says, this is a story of a vision gone wrong. I was warned and then warned again, and yet it didn't stop me. So, The Naked Hardback and the end pages make me want to read this book a lot. Like, even though I'm not a fan of the covers, um, I'm really excited to read this book just because of the end page. Look at the end pages, just look at them. It looks so, so, so cool. So I'm really excited to read this. So hopefully I get around to reading it um, this month or next month during October. But uh, absolutely amazing. The end pages are so, so, so great. I love it. And I also did came with a signed book plate that I already put inside the book. So yeah, I'm very excited to read this. This Naked Heart Bag is absolutely stunning. I'm in love. Um, I just wish they did like something different for the actual cover but it is I like the colors they chose um but yeah I'm really happy um with this box I think it's a great box and I love these books so I'm very excited to read both of these um so yeah let me know your thoughts on this box and the items the items I love and the books are absolutely amazing uh make sure to like comment below subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys